the oil source opening up to some Centrex and there's a bit of a clean and I cannot believe my eyes an American made CRT what the hell I was expecting a Changhua or Fortune a generic rubbish Chinese CRT but an American made CRT no way Man, maybe these weren't so crappy as um, this brand Centrex. That was an Australian brand, Centrex Australia, made in China. But the tube, made in America. Unbelievable. Even the Chinese couldn't make CRTs at the time. When they were becoming obsolete, so they got it from America, who was, must have still been making them. That's unbelievable. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to air all this. This is going to be saved. I'm going to clean this up and preserve it, I think. It's got a, uh, a ying for fly back there. Just like the one in my, um, my other ZVS. Another ying for. This ying for fly back has a big anode on it and a longer lead. LG Phillips deflection um, coil. Interesting. Uses an American made tube. That is unreal. I didn't think America still made CRTs in this era. Good quality speakers, 10 watt, 3 ohms. Where's the amplifier? That it, uh, doesn't look like it. Nice little shorted transformer there. What about the audio amp? Is? There must be it there. Nice little package actually. It's quite a um, complex little package it's in. Jing Zing, that's the receiver. SC brand capacitors. This has DVD composite input, so that's the first one I've ever had had composite input on it. There you are, an American made tube. That is very surprising. Little electronics 15 watt resistor Pretty basic stuff inside this D-02 um, That composite I think it's 2006 2005 era this TV I cannot believe it It has a bloody American made tube in it Yeah It doesn't even have tweeters Definitely keeping this one then. Hmm. Another interesting CRT, LG Philips displays. I know LG did merge with Philips for a bit. This particular one, made in Huawei CDS, co limited China. So, yeah, you pretty cheap, generic Chinese CRT. This one, this one has, actually has quite a long neck. Interesting. A bit dirty. They still work okay. 5.8 ohms. There's the audio amplifier there. It's got two, two of them on separate chips. From that, let's see, it looks like it could be another Yingfa. Yeah, it looks like it. Another Yingfa flyback. Interesting. Yeah, I think it's another Yingfa flyback on that. So that's what brand TV those Yingfa flybacks come from. Centrex. But sourcing a CRT from America, the Chinese couldn't make one cheap enough this size? That's surprising. Anyway, more SC brand capacitors. Anyway, it's a bit of an interesting thing to note. Thanks for watching.